Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Saturday, September 18th, 2021, and I am coming on here with another Wings update. And if you saw the title, you will see that this is part one of part two. Uh, so if you have not watched part two, um, that will be published tomorrow, which is Sunday, September 19th, 2021. <laughs> And, uh, and the reason for the two parts, again, is I have 30 packages that I need to show you. And some of the doll clothes are so cute that I want to be able to spend a little bit more time on them. Um, so for anyone who's new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet and I like yarn a lot. And I also make stitch markers. I did just do an Etsy shop update. So if you guys wanna go over, the link for my Etsy shop is down below in the description box. Please go over and check that out. If you could do me a favor and just favorite the shop and favorite a few items, that really does help me out a lot. I appreciate it. So I do live here in the Chicago area. I have one daughter, her nickname is Carrots, like the vegetable. And we have a bunch of animals. So we call this place the zoo. Uh, so this year, as well as last year, you guys and this channel, um, helped a domestic violence organization here in Chicago called Wings. Uh, all of the links for their websites, etc., will be down below in the description box. And uh, what they're doing is they're asking for handmade items for each month. And they're asking for specific items. So if you would like to check out the list, the list is down below, but it's only from now until the end of the year for what's in there. Um, but if you wanna see the complete list, it is listed in my Facebook group. So come on over and join over there too. So I'm gonna go over some details here in part one. And uh, just to let you guys know for the month of September, which we are almost done with, do you believe that? Uh, they have requested doll clothes for any size dolls and aprons for plus size. So um, like I said in a past video, that could mean anything to you that's plus size. If you're not sure, you can Google it, but we're kind of towards the end of the month now. So we're gonna start talking about October. October, the items of the month are washcloths, dishcloths, kitchen scrubbies, face scrubbies, um, bath poofs, if you wanna make one of those. And they will also accept the uh, towels, like kitchen towels with the towel toppers. Uh, so for example, it is not a, an entirely crocheted kitchen towel. They do not want it. They want the ones where you can purchase them at the store and then you crochet above the towel so it can hang above um, on your oven. They don't want the rings that you put the towels through. They want the crocheted part um, as part of the towel. Um, if you do have any questions about what I'm referring to, go to Pamela's Adoring Crochet. She has a bunch of tutorials for that. And she is also doing a make along like all year. And I also have linked some tutorials in the Wings playlist. So go check that out. So that is for October. For November, they are asking for chunky baskets. Again, any size. I mean, think about this is gonna be probably for kids' toys. So if you're gonna make a chunky basket, it probably shouldn't be a tiny chunky basket. Um, also, my thoughts on a chunky basket is you probably need to use more than three strands of yarn or at least three strands of yarn in order to make it a chunky basket. I did also find some tutorials for chunky baskets um, in the, uh, and I put them in the Wings playlist. The other thing they're asking for for November are toys for boys. Uh, and some of the ideas that I had were um, those flying discs. And that is um, a tutorial that I found from Jada and Stitches. It's also in the Wings playlist down below, or not down below, but in the Wings playlist in my on my YouTube channel. And I did receive an email from someone who is from Canada named Chantel. Hi, Chantel. And I actually have my iPad here so I can read it. She did say... Um, uh, she was wondering what she could do for toys for boys and then she found some tutorials. So I'm gonna just tell you what she said. If you want these, if you want me to forward you this email, I can just send me an email. Um, she found the flying disc tutorial from Jada and she found a couple of really cute amigurumis. Um, there's one that is a tri. hold on guys, I need glasses for this. There is a Triceratops dinosaur amigurumi there is a Bronto the Dinosaur Amigurumi. There is a really cute bowling set. Um, it says Halloween pattern, but I'm sure you could make them different. There is a Shark Time pouch. 
Um, that's on Moogly blog. There is a zebra finger puppet. So, um, so there's a, a couple of different things you guys can search for. Now, I'm not going to put any amigurumis in my playlist because I don't like amigurumis. <laughs> but you're more than welcome to make any amigurumis if you think that they're appropriate for boys. So if you do want the links to any of those um, videos or tutorials that I just talked about, just send me an email, let me know, and I'll shoot those over to you. But you can just search amigurumi um, on YouTube and see what else you can find that you think might be good for a boy. Um, I think that is it. Like I said, I have 30 boxes, and so I'm going to split it up. I'm going to do 15 right now, and then we'll have 15 more tomorrow. Um, remember, you can send donations to my PO box, which is listed in the description box below. Um, if you can remember, October is coming up, so we have a big push for washcloths for wings and then November is the baskets and the toys for boys. All right so for for today I actually have quite a combination. I think I got some hats that were left over from August and I have some washcloths that are not until October and I have doll clothes so we have a lot to show you guys so let's get started. The first package I have is from Kimmy and she's from California. So she's got a note here it says all the yarn I used are 100% acrylic. They are from my bottomless basket of of yarning goodness leftovers just waiting for their chance to shine <laughs> okay so she numbered the little packages and I hope you guys could see this so this is number one I'm trying not to make any noise so I don't know if you guys can see that so she says the poncho is a YouTube tutorial from all my crochet oh that's down that's here in the back so you can see the little poncho there the beanie she said there's no pattern <laughs> So cute. And then the boots are a YouTube tutorial from All My Crochet. And those are the little booties right there. Oh my gosh, this stuff is just too cute. Okay, and then she says bag number two. The top is a YouTube tutorial from Wooly Wonders Crochet. Oh my gosh. The pants are a YouTube tutorial also from Wooly Wonders Crochet which is right there, these little green pants. And then the mini bag is a YouTube tutorial by Just Crochet, and that's the little yellow bag right there. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Kimmy, you did an amazing job. Okay, now here's bag number three. She says the dress is a YouTube tutorial from Suwana's Craft. And let's see if you can see it right there. The mini sun hat is a YouTube tutorial by Star Crochet. That's right there. <laughs> and the mini bag is a YouTube tutorial, Unicorn and Dragons. Oh, and it's right there, that little green bag. Oh my gosh. Kimmy, thank you so much for these darling, darling clothes. I mean, they're just so adorable. You guys, I'm so happy that you guys like to do it because you know me and little things. We don't get along. So I do appreciate you sending those in. All right, let's get to the next one. So the next package came from uh, Mrs. Garzinski from Pennsylvania. There was no note in the bag, but there were three washcloths. Um, so also just so you guys know for October when we get a ton of washcloths, I'm probably not going to show you each and every washcloth. Um, I'll probably just hold up the stack like that. So thank you so, so much for sending in your three washcloths. I really, really do appreciate it. Okay, next. So the next package came from one of my dear friends. Her name is Joyce and she's from Minnesota. And I actually got to meet her at the Bag O' Day retreat that Crystal had a couple years ago. Uh, and then I actually got to room with her the next time we did it. So that was pretty cool. So she sent some doll clothes that are just precious. Um, let me show you guys. Um, they're not in bags or anything. So that's why I'm gonna show them individually. So there's just this little, oh my gosh, it's like a little cardigan. So there's one item and then we have these little, I don't know if you guys can see these little overalls and a hat to go with it. Oh my gosh, these are just cute. Then there's like another little hat. I don't think it goes with anything. It's just a hat. Maybe, maybe they can swap out for the outfit. And then there's a little dress. Oh my gosh, this little dress for a doll. And it's got the little pink ribbon. And then um, Joyce is trying to um, sell off her Color Street. So she sent me three packages of Color Street nails. 
um, you guys, uh, there's like a ton in here. There's like a bunch of them. Joyce, thank you so much. You didn't have to do all that. Um, you guys, I normally don't wear any nail polish because I'm constantly doing stitch markers and crocheting and stuff comes off. But I did try one of these and they were they were pretty cool. So I might have to try using some of those. So thank you so much, Joyce, uh, for the doll clothes and for the nail stuff. I do appreciate it. Okay, next. So the next package comes from Lori and she's from New York and she sent some winter sets. So I'm gonna show you guys, they're so pretty, oh my gosh. So if you guys are thinking about, you're watching this and you don't know, please do not send any more winter sets. Their hat and coat drive is coming up really soon. So um, I don't wanna miss getting the stuff there. So we're done collecting hats and scarves right now. That was our item of the month for August. Okay, so here is one set totally adorable. Look at the flower. Oh my gosh, these are just precious. Lori, you are amazing. Look at that. So pretty. Here is another set. Oh my God, the kids are going to love this. I so appreciate this, Lori. And there is the last set. So Lori, thank you so much for sending those beautiful sets. I really do appreciate it. They're absolutely gorgeous. And most of them are in my favorite color. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're all going to wings, you guys. All right, let's get to the next package. So I did want to just let you guys know also, and I do say this on all of my wings videos, but if you're new here, you might not have heard it before. Um, please make sure that you're aware that if you can donate locally, we would really appreciate it if you could donate locally. Um, the reason for that is you help your own community as well as you shave on, save on shipping costs. You don't have to send anything here. So that's really, really good. Also, if you can only send Send one item that's fine if you can send more than one item that's great if you can't send any items if you could leave comments in the comment section down below just um, throwing out positive vibes to the people who have sent donations thanking them that would be awesome so there's no need to apologize if you send something and it's only one item there's no need to apologize if you can't send anything at all it's we're all in our own places in our lives and that's just the way it's, it's gonna go okay um, so the next package that I have came all the way from Canada and it is from Mary and before I go into Mary oh this is the card from Mary before I go into her donations um, we also do thank you gifts here for every month of donations so for example last month we had I don't know 24 thank you gifts now not everyone claimed everything but that's okay so we have like yarn we have patterns we have crochet books we have um, things that other people have donated. We have stitch markers. There's lots of things. Um, for the people for Canada, we have this amazing lady. Her name is Debbie. She's the Canadian crotcheter. And she has agreed to do one goodie box um, thank you gift for the last half of the year. So anyone who donates from Canada, because she's from Canada, um, will be entered into a separate drawing to win something from Debbie the Canadian crotcheter. And everyone else is into the same drawing as everyone else. <laughs> So, so if you want to see like what kind of gifts were given away, you can go check out the August thank you gifts video. It was like a couple videos ago and it was pretty fun and exciting to be able to try and give away all that stuff as thank you prizes. Okay, so let's read Mary's card. She says, hi Rose, I hope you are well. I can't believe we are September already. Two more months before you can take a rest, lol. Don't blink or December will be here when you open your eyes. I'm not sure who will enjoy these doll clothes more, the children who receive them or me while making them. They were so much fun to make and worked up super quick. I've enclosed a list of where I got the patterns from. All are made with 100% acrylic yarns, so easy machine wash and dry. All the best to you and yours. I will follow up in October with washcloths. Stay well from Mary Rose. And she's on Instagram as Mary Makes It All. So thank you, Mary. So she's got a list here in case you guys want to know. So she had them separated into 18 inch and then baby doll. So here are the 18 inch. I'm going to see if I can figure this out here. Okay, so it looks like this is, oh my gosh, so cute. This is an 18 inch doll coat. The tutorial on YouTube by Melinda's Closet Finds. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then there is an 18 inch doll dress and hat. Hope you guys can see that. YouTube tutorial by Lovingly Nye. Oh my gosh, that is so precious. And then the poncho. 
Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. The poncho is, um, she found it on Pinterest called abcknittingpatterns.com, but obviously that is crochet. So those are the, the items she sent for the 18-inch doll. And then she says, newborn baby dress, YouTube tutorial by Claudetta Crochet. Uh, newborn diaper pants, tutorial on YouTube, CIP. CIP Inspirations Crochet Creations, and the newborn hat is the basic half double crochet beanie. And it looks like she used um, this yarn called Scandi. Let's see here. Remember, she's from Canada, so it looks like this is a Michaels thing that we can't probably get here in the U.S., so thank you so much, Mary, for sending all the names of the patterns for these items. They're absolutely adorable. I love them. Um, I do hope you had a good time making them because they're so cute. I have a really good time just looking at them, so I do appreciate it. And thank you for sending something from Canada. It's pretty awesome. Okay, next. The next package I have is from Carol, and she's from New York, and she sent this card. By the way, you guys don't have to send a card. You can just write on the package wings. She writes, Dear Rose, here are three aprons. The three aprons are all 100% cotton yarn. The gray apron is the sedge stitch, and the yarn is Crafter's Secret from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so let me show you this one. So she, she did put the tags for the yarn here. Let's see, Crafter's Secret Hobby Lobby, 100% cotton. And let's see if it says what the color is on here says it is called black ice. So here is, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. So I'm probably not gonna be able to model these, you guys, <laughs> but here is, it's a half apron. So it just goes, ties around your waist and then, well, you know, not like that, but <laughs> it ties around your waist and then there's the ties for to tie it around your, the, your waist. Yeah, in the back, that's what I meant. Oh my gosh, that is just gorgeous. And then she says the other two aprons are the Rosie Posy Stitch from MJ's Off the Hook. The yarn is Classic Brown from Crafter's Secret, Hobby Lobby, and the waistband is Soft Accru, Sugar and Cream. Okay, um... The last apron I made is yarn from Walmart, possibly Oasis, not sure, can't find the label, hoping all is well from Carol. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are just awesome. Okay, so this is the one that is the Sugar and Cream Soft Accru, 100% cotton. She's got it labeled there. And then the bottom part is what she labeled Crafter Secret. So there is another half apron, it's beautiful. If you guys want to see that oh my gosh these are amazing and then here is the one that she's not sure on the yarn for like these seem like they'd be really easy and I didn't have time to make an apron this month you guys so here is the other one and it's just a half apron with the ties on it absolutely gorgeous thank you so so much Carol for making these beautiful aprons I absolutely love them now that I see how you did it it looks like it's probably something I could I could manage <laughs> so Carol thank you so much for sending those okay let's get to the next one the next package comes from Brenda. She's from California and she sent me a note and she says, Hi Rose, these are the September donations. There is one doll hat and one doll hat and booty set. Um, so that is, oh my gosh, so cute. There's the hat and booty set for a doll and there is a little hat. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then she says some baby doll dresses and Barbie clothes. I have found out that I really don't like making Barbie clothes. I like the finished item, but not the process. Okay, so let me show you the, uh, looks like this is the bag of Barbie clothes. I see a dress right there. So I'm gonna leave those all in there because she's got some beautiful dresses I wanna show you guys. Are you guys ready? Oh my gosh. How stinking adorable are these <gasps> what stop it oh my gosh I need a I need a little girl my my daughter never ever liked playing with dolls so we never ever had this stuff <laughs> this is so cute look at the little buttons oh my gosh oh my gosh these little girls or little boys are gonna have so much fun dressing up these dolls there's another one. Oh my gosh these are so so pretty 
I love them. I could see how this would probably be easier than the little Barbie clothes. Here is another one. Oh my gosh, you are so busy, Brenda. I love these. <gasps> these are just precious. And then here is one more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, and then she writes, um, I made three aprons. They are already washed and ironed. I tried to fold them as neatly as I could. Hopefully they aren't too wrinkled. Thanks from Brenda. Oh my gosh, Brenda, you are amazing. So Brenda actually knows how to sew and use a sewing machine, unlike me. <laughs> All right, so here is one of the aprons. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. All right, so it is actually a full apron. There is the part, there you go, that goes over your head like that. And you guys, I'm not plus size, so I would not really be able to model this very well, but there is one. Brenda, I promise you, I will fold these back up. Actually, I'm gonna show you the next one. I think it's the same style. And yes, it is. And I'm gonna show you guys the material that she used for it. Oh my gosh, the dragonflies are gorgeous. Okay, yeah, I have to be nice to these. Um, and then here is the third one, and it is pineapples. And it looks like this is the same style too. Yeah, it goes over your head. So Brenda, oh my gosh. Thank you so much for sending these. These are absolutely gorgeous. This is exactly what they were looking for. They're definitely plus size. And I really do appreciate you sending me these. I cannot wait to bring them to Wings. So thank you so much. Okay, next. So the next box comes from Carlene and she's from New York and she sent this adorable card. You guys are so sweet. Carlene writes, Rose, hoping this finds you well. Again, find myself thanking you for the opportunity to give means a lot. Okay, so enclosed, she's got one eight inch doll shawl with a tie, which is a variation on corner to corner granny from Jada in Stitches. So that is this one. Oh my gosh, it is like a tiny version of a shawl. How stinking cute is that? Okay, and then she's got two 18-inch doll ponchos, and she doesn't say where she got the pattern, but oh my gosh, who cares? It's so cute. Oh, wow. Okay, and then she says she's got two 18-inch doll dresses with matching bags, and it's from All My Crochet on YouTube. So there is one. Look at the bag. Oh my gosh. And then here is the second one. And look at the little bag. Oh my gosh, these are just adorable. Finally, a large apron. My creation, a stretch for me, but hopefully it's useful and it's cotton from Carlene. Okay, so, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Let me show you guys. So this is to go around your neck. I love it. Look at the, look at the um, waist. And it's Christmas colors. How pretty is that? <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love your design, Carlene. You are amazing. Thank you so much for the apron. It's so soft and it's so pretty and the doll clothes are just precious. I really do appreciate it. Okay, next. The next box comes from Gail and she's from Missouri and she put a little note on the top and she says, hi Rose, I have enclosed 11 aprons for wings and these are all like sewn material. <laughs> The thing that I have a big problem with. Okay, so I'm gonna just unwrap one and show you guys what it looks like. These are absolutely beautiful. Okay, so it's got this where it's got the adjustable ring. You can put it in the ring and adjust it. Oh my gosh, it's a full size apron. Look at the pocket. This is amazing. Look at the, the ties. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Okay, so um, this is incredible, 11 of these. Like maybe one day I'll learn how to sew with my sewing machine and I can make something like this too. <laughs> okay, so let me show you the other ones and I'm not gonna unfold them. I'm just gonna show you guys. Oh, look at the, you can see the detail on the pocket on that one. So there's two. Oh, how pretty. These are so bright and cheery. There's three. I just love these. Oh my gosh. Look at the strawberries. Four. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Five. This is like heavy duty material too. There is six. So pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's seven. 
with a nice pink pocket. Oops. Here is eight. So it's like denim and then there is the red trim. The um, strap is the same. Oh my gosh, this one is like a heavier material too. So pretty. Oh my gosh, check this one out, you guys. It's all little fruits with the black trim on it. And then here is the last one. Oh my gosh, these are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so, so much for making all of these aprons for wings. I really do appreciate it. I think they're absolutely gorgeous and I appreciate you taking all of your time to make these and then send them to me. That was amazing. Okay, next. So the next box comes from Paulette and I don't know where it's from because the label was all destroyed, but that's okay. She did leave a note. Hi Rose, there. here is my contribution for October for Wings. I hope it helps. Thank you for all that you do for abused women. It is quite the task you have taken on, but you bless so many women and their children. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day, Paulette. Ah, oh, Paulette, you guys are the ones that are sending everything and I really, really do appreciate it. Like I said before, I am just the middleman. Sometimes I donate too, <laughs> like I actually make the items. Um, but sometimes like when it's little stuff, I don't, I don't usually make it. So anyway, Paulette sent all of these washcloths. And like I said earlier, I'm not gonna go through each and every one of them, but it's a ton of them. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Paulette, and they're soft and they're so pretty and there's some round ones in here. They're just gorgeous. Thank you so, so much for making all of these washcloths for wings. I do appreciate it. Um, just so you guys know, there are probably a majority of the people that are at wings are women and children. There are some gentlemen in there as well. So it looks like a lot of these would be um, neutral uh, for either one. So I do appreciate you sending all of these. They're absolutely awesome. Okay, next. The next box comes from Karen and she's from Massachusetts and she sent this card. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's yarn balls. <laughs> okay, she writes, greetings, rose, carrots, and the zoo. Here are my first ever doll clothes. I had fun. The sweater coat is a pattern by Janice Helg that I made larger. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> This is like a little knitted coat. O-M-G. Shut the front door. Karen, are you serious? Could this be any cuter? I don't think it could be any cuter. Oh my gosh. I need a doll. Um, <laughs> it says, the red dress is by Crystal at Bag O'Day called Pansy Paradise number 478. I don't want to put this one down. Okay. Um, this is so pretty too. It's sparkly yarn. By the way, she has a tag on the back too, in case anyone wants to wash their doll clothes. Okay. And then she says, the lilac dress is called uh, the Shelly dress by Norma at All My Crochet. Do you guys see the ruffles, the little frillies, the purple? Oh my gosh, it's like the fun fur. <gasps> Shut the front door again. Holy smackerels. Thank you for all you do and to everyone who donates and cheers and cheers us on from Karen. Yes, it's really important that you guys cheer everybody on in the comments so that everyone feels good about themselves. I have not found anything wrong with anything ever that has been donated to Wings, and I do appreciate everyone's donations. By the way, Karen is one of my good customers on Etsy, and she also returned some of my purple bags. You didn't have to do that, but thank you so much, Karen, and thank you for being a good customer of mine. So let's get to the next one, guys. The next package is from Kathy, and she's from Michigan. Michigan, and she sent me a card in a Ziploc bag because it's stuffed. <laughs> so she did put some tea in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love the lemon tea. That's awesome. So there's some lemon tea and chamomile tea. Thank you so much. It's still hot here, so no tea, no hot tea yet. Um, and let me tell you what her card says. It says, thank you for all you do. Blessings from Kathy. Well, Kathy, I appreciate everything that you guys do for us and for Wings too. So she sent in some hats. So I'm going to show you guys. There's two. Oh, I love that pattern. Four. Oh my gosh. And six. So there's six hats. And then she sent in a bunch of washcloths. So I'm just gonna show you guys. There's a ton, 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 ton of washcloths. So Kathy, thank you so, so much for sending in the hats and the washcloths. I do appreciate it. And Wings will appreciate this too. 
Okay, next. So the next box comes from Terry and she's from California and she sent this card. Oh, probably goes like that. <laughs> And she writes, Dear Rose, here are two outfits that fit a 22-inch baby doll. Pattern for the dress is from Bag O'Day, and the shoes are from Mikey at the Crochet Crowd. Okay, so let me show you, and then I'll finish the rest of her, her card. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Wait, you guys, it comes with a matching hat. Oh my gosh, and the little booties. Oh my gosh, and they all match perfectly. And then here is the second set. So there is the dress. Oh my gosh, there's the little hat. And then there's the little booties that match that. Oh my gosh, they're so cute, Terry. She says, I watch all your videos and I donate hats, scarves, blankets, shawls at our local shelter. That's amazing. I am always in awe of the beautiful creations people send in. Thank you for what you do from Terry. Terry, I am always in awe as well, especially when it's something that I'm not good at. I love to see, um, even if it's something I'm okay at, I love to see the different colors and the different patterns. I think you guys are all super, super talented and I do appreciate you sending in donations for wings. Okay, we got two more boxes. So the next box comes from my good friend. Her name is Linda, she's from Florida. She sent a bunch of doll clothes and she also sent me some jump rings so I can make some stitch markers. Thank you so much for that. And then she sent, oh, this one's open. So I'm gonna show you. She sent in a bunch of doll clothes and each bag is individually labeled. So here, since this one was open, I'm gonna show you. It's a purple dress and a hat. <laughs> and she's got what's on here. It says, Easy Crochet American Girl Doll Dress by All My Crochet. And the hat is by Lovingly Nye. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So let me put this one back in the bag. So this one says American Girl Crocheted Half Double Crocheted Dress, American Girl Crocheted Boots, and it's from All My Crafts on YouTube. So here, it, she has dryer sheets in each one of these. That's that filmy thing right there. So there's the dress, and there are the little booties. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. This one says crochet Barbie dress, all my crochet on YouTube. Oh my gosh, there's like three of them in there. Okay, so here, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. So those are the Barbie dresses. Oh my gosh, they're so sweet. Okay, this one says crochet doll, uh, something stitch, stitch2.com. Um, and oh, I think these are like little, oh, it's a little diaper cover. There's a little diaper, yeah, they're diaper covers. Is it? Yeah, it says diaper. <laughs> I can't read. Anyway, there's a bunch of diaper covers in there. Look at the little buttons. Oh my gosh, so cute. Uh, and then this one says, uh, yellow dress is Oopsie Daisy Romper by Memory Lane Crochet.co.uk. So here, I'm gonna open this one up so I can show you guys because there's two separate ones in here. So here is that little romper dress. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then she says the other one is, uh, the purple white dress is a simple doll dress by Sarah Satch on YouTube. So there is that one. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then this bag says, Baby Doll Carrier by Corn on the Monkey. So it looks like there's a couple in there. There's that golden one, and then there's a teal one. Oh my gosh. And then the last thing is American Girl Crocheted Party Dress and Crochet Shoes by All My Crafts on YouTube. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's got a little white flower on it and there are the shoes i know it's hard to see that you guys but they're just precious so linda thank you so so much for sending all of these amazing outfits i cannot wait to bring these um by the way my contact did send me an email or a text message um, after i dropped off the doll clothes from last time and she was like oh my gosh they're so cute and i said i know <laughs> you guys do an amazing job 
All right, we have one more for this part of the video. So the next box and the last box for this part comes from Lisa and she's from Wisconsin. That's my neighbor to the north up there. And she writes, hi Rose, so happy to be able to contribute to your August collection efforts. I had fun trying different patterns as I make the items to send you. I know that each item will go to a loving home and keep them warm in the cold of winter. And they get colder up there, I think, um, than we do down here. <laughs> she says, thank you for all that you are doing for this worthy cause. Sincerely, Lisa from Wisconsin. Okay, so, oh my gosh, so pretty. So she did send in one set. I think, is that part of the set? Hold on a second. There is a set here. So there is the set. I know it doesn't look like it matches, but it does. There's one set. And then I have two ear warmers. Awesome. And then we have a bunch of hats, you guys. Are you ready? They're so pretty. There's two, four, oh my gosh, so cute. Six, eight, ten and 12. Oh my gosh, Lisa, thank you so much for sending in all of these items. They're all beautiful. I love them. I really appreciate every single one of you who sends in items. If it's just one, if it's more than one, I appreciate when you tell me that you donate locally, that makes my heart happy. And um, I appreciate everyone who leaves a comment down below and please share if you can. Um, it would be really nice if we could get the uh, donation charity bug um, out there before winter sets in because you know, you guys are in a cold climate and you're local, maybe you can find somewhere locally that will take some uh, warm items for the winter. Okay, so that's all I have for part one. Check back in for part two. If you've already seen part two and you're coming back for part one, hi uh, and bye because we'll see you in the next video guys. Take care. See you later. Bye.